Of course, the National League for Democracy is a political organization, and because of that, we've always put our political agenda at the forefront. For the past two and a half decades, or nearly two and a half decades, we have called for peaceful negotiations to settle the problems of our country. Now, uh, an issue which is, has, has been of great importance to all of us who are working for democracy in Burma is that of political prisoners. The exact numbers are a matter of controversy. We have our own list, the government has its own list, and uh, other prisoners associations have their own lists. We have uh, put out our list, which consists of 525. There are rumors, of course, that uh, important political prisoners are going to be released today. But so far, these remain only rumors. We do not have any specific information on who has been rele released, if anybody has been released at all. Another issue which we consider of very great importance to our country is, of course, the matter of internal peace. In July, I, put, uh, I uh, issued an open letter addressed to the President Utense and to various ethnic organizations asking for a ceasefire and for peaceful negotiations and offering my services if they should be of any use to the process. This offer still stands. As many of you are doubtless aware, the National Assembly has passed a number of new laws which have yet to be implemented. But uh, in the implementation of such laws, again, rule of law is important. And rule of law depends on an independent and clean judiciary. This is what we are in great need of for our country now and always in the future. Moving on from the political uh, to the more specific issues, the generally political, to the more specific, specific issues relating to the National League for Democracy. We shall be holding a meeting of the Central Committee on the 18th to, to decide on matters relating to party registration and the coming by-elections. The National Assembly lately passed and the President has already signed amendments to the registration and election laws and in view of these amendments we are going to reconsider the position that we took in 2010 with regard to registration and the contesting of elections. In the realm of uh, social and humanitarian work it has been very encouraging especially in the matter of education. We have been we, the network has managed to establish about 16 free schools all over the country within the last nine months. And these are free schools are totally free. We don't ask for any fees uh, under any kind of heading. I myself believe that if we all are determined to go forward and to take a positive view of developments, even if they are not as satisfactory as we would wish uh, these to be. In fact, I'm rather wary of using the word satisfactory or satisfaction because that smacks a little bit of complacency. And complacent we certainly cannot afford to be at this juncture. We have to understand that there's still a lot of work to be done 